Hey guys, Tabby here with Live Free Adventures. We wanted to show you our 2006 Ford E350 extended van. We purchased this just the day after 4th of July of this year and we've been working on converting it over the weekends when we have a chance. And we did show another video of our of the conversion so far but since then we've already done more modifications and so we wanted to show you what we have done so far right now so we're excited to show you this van has a v8 engine and i'm not sure on the gas mileage yet but i will update that on later we bought it from a dealership in Rolla, and they got it from a hospital. They used it for their transportation van. And so it was very clean. The engine was very clean. And the passenger door is an automatic door since it was a handicap van. van. Sorry. So this back door is going to be our entrance so we don't have to use the automatic door all the time. And this is Carlos's makeshift little handle for the spout for our water and then we can pull it out to do showers outside and wash off our feet if they're dirty, all that fun stuff. And then you can push it back in and have it standing up to use it to wash your dishes. Underneath we have two six gallon water tanks. And that's going to be both for our fresh water to use for showers and washing the dishes. And then we have it. We have a pump right here for our water. We didn't want a manual pump. We wanted an electric pump. And then we have the water drain to go outside. We changed Eli's bed to go over the front of the van, so it gave us more room. Here he has his own fan. And then up here we have some storage for spices. And there's our little kitchenette. There's our bed back there. And that's one of the seats we left in the van. So we have a legal seat for Eli to sit in. And here's our table. That my husband made himself. And he's trying to open it here with just one hand. So there you can see we have a table. And then we have our cooler on the side. We have our fans up there. And we put a little TV up here just so we can watch some movies at night. Or... There's our speaker and some storage up there. And this little cabinet came right out of our house, so that wasn't didn't cost us anything. And that's our tank for our fresh water to drink. Here's our bed that can pull back or push back into so we can relax back. And then here you pull it forward. And it's just smaller than a full size bed.
Back here we have our portable AC right there and then we have two deep cycle batteries, solar batteries. So that's with the chair up and the table up. And so we have all that room to walk around. I still have some painting to do, as you can see. Under here we have storage. We have our little toilet bucket hiding down there the top we just bought at Walmart for like 10 or 11 dollars and then the bucket we had downstairs just have it hiding under the bed so no one can see it and then to pull the bed back you just pull these red straps and push it back and then you can sit down and we have a little table right here if we want to work on our computer or just sit there and eat our camping stove and then we made sure we had a, a fire extinguisher in our he's going so fast Right there we have a carbon monoxide detector and we have a fire detector and you want to make sure you have those, you want to be safe. And then we're also going to have mace to keep us safe and a machete. Back here we have the AC and it's the exhaust goes out, the hot air goes out down to the floor, and then the water drains to the floor. We have more storage back there. We're going to have one of those tubs with tools. And then here's our box. It's a stowaway box. And we're going to use that to put our generator and propane tank in there and it's really nice because you can just flip it out and then we can still open the doors in the back we had to put some vents on there so our generator could have room to breathe And then we have a solar panel that we still have to mount. That'll be later after the winter because pretty soon we're going to start getting snow. Thanks for watching.